Heads high is our posture. Against all odds, we gon' prosper. We know our place in this world. We gon' shine our lights till it hurts. Staying focused, we know our day coming. Negative vibes, we escape from it. We know our place in this world. We gon' shine our lights till it hurts. What's good? What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Urban Platform Speaks. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe as you come into the channel. Check out the content. Um, I want to speak on, like, I'm I'm really surprised that the LeBron, that not LeBron James fans, but the Lakers fans, man, are not really, they're not really up in arms about the situation that's going on in L.A. <clears throat> I know that a lot of the diehard um, Lakers fans don't really consider LeBron to be a Lakers, a Laker. Um, you know, they just really think, you know, they see him as someone who plays for the Lakers, but they don't see him to be like a Laker, like like Kobe Bryant was. That you know, um, LeBron is more in in it, and diehard like Laker fans, he's more like a a mercenary, but. LeBron has really like since he's been there, he's really set the Lakers up to to fail. You know, so many ball players like he they were not able to land because of his uh I would I just had to say like his selfishness. Um, you know, he tried to get Kawhi Leonard, uh he tried to get Paul George, he tried to get uh Buddy Hill, uh let me see. Recent, more recently, Clay Thompson uh, and the guy who just went to Sacramento, uh, DeMar DeRozan. Um, and so that's part of it. So like nobody, like none of the big name brand and the name ball players really wanted to come and play alongside LeBron besides AD. And I think the and the main reason why he played with him is because he's a part of uh, clutch, clutch management, you know, and so. Uh, I guess they had some extra incentive in there, whereas though they probably was, you know, they could get him a, a, a bigger deal or, and they was going to just, you know, they were saying that, you know, that this was going to be your franchise, but man, you know, a lot of people don't want to play with him. And now that, you know, now that he has, uh, you know, he can't get anybody to go there and, and the Lakers, that organization has, has never had an issue withdrawing big you know big name players they've that's has never been a part of their uh their uh their their history and so you know now he has a coach who is inexperienced and so the lakers are going to have to to deal with that situation um you know sooner or later they're gonna have to deal with that situation like especially if he don't win like how are they going to get out of this and resolve that situation um, and they signed uh, his son to a four-year deal, you know. Um, and so I don't even think LeBron will be there for four more years. And so even after LeBron is gone, they will, will be still, uh, you know, uh, uh, going through these, some of the uh, suffering from the decisions that they made while he was there, you know, and they, they really don't have any assets. Um, LeBron is old. Um, AD is old. They have dude um, Reeves. I like him. He, he's probably only asset. Um, and I like the the draft pick, the, the the kid that they got to pick up out of Tennessee. So, but we don't know yet if he's going to be. You know what he's going to turn out to be. I know at Tennessee he was. You know he was a very good ball player, and I think he was a good pickup for the Lakers. But um, you know, the, the Lakers don't really have much to work with. You know, I don't I don't see anybody else on their team as being something that someone that you know that somebody will want or you can get in a trade or something like that. So they really don't have any assets, and that's all because of the Lakers have been really they've just been, you know, just doing everything that LeBron wanted to do wanted them to do and thinking that he was going to be able to get them a champ more championships you know they got they did win the championship in the bubble but uh i think that they probably thought that you know like his his tenure there was going to probably be a little bit more a lot more productive than what it was and um 
you know, I guess now they feel obligated to, you know, they're going to play this thing out with him and his son. And, you know, and I guess do the farewell tour thing, you know, probably in another year or two. But, um, yeah, I just think that, you know, LeBron James just set the Lakers up, man, to fail. And uh, they're going to be, like I said, feeling the repercussions from the decisions um, probably for a few years to come. At least after he's done playing, you know, uh, he'll be going through that. But that's my take on, on it. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, also, you can go to urbanplatformfashion.com and check out the merch. I have hoodies, long sleeve t-shirts, and short sleeve t-shirts. And with that being said, man, um, be sure to leave a com a comment. And I'll, uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to what y'all think about, you know, the situation that LeBron has the Lakers in. And what do you also, what do you think it's going to take for them to get out of this situation? Um, with that being said, I'll check you all out on the next video. Peace.